Hi there, it's Kathy from Your Web Toolkit. Um, by far one of the most uh, or the biggest number of questions I've received um, around the place is how I organise my time. Um, I'm a mum to twin toddlers, I uh, work from home and I started this new business idea earlier this year. And in spite of all those obstacles, um, juggling work with babies, um, I've managed to make quite a lot of progress and the the reason is, or my secret weapon if you like, um, is using Trello boards. Now there are other tools that you can use, I'm not saying this is the best tool for you, but I think the idea is a sound one and the principle and I um, have seen lots of people out there doing something similar. And in essence it's about just getting um, everything out of your brain, getting it onto lists, and not letting yourself be interrupted when you're working on a particular task. That is the essence of it. So you just need to find a way um, to focus your time, um, know exactly what you're going to be working on for any given amount of time, and then if you, when your brain interrupts you, because it always does, going, oh, this, oh, that, oh, I need to remember this, I need to remember that, you need somewhere where you can quickly just dump all those ideas and then come back to them later, to continue with what you're doing in that moment. Because multitasking is not good. You might feel like you're being productive, but you're not, you're just gonna be scattered. So saying all that, um, this, uh, I just thought I would share my Trello boards. Um, it's always a work in progress, I'm not saying this is perfect, but this is kind of where I'm at at the moment. Um, and this is how I kind of manage my time. So just into my account here, I can just look in here and I have a quick overview. And all I've done at this point is color coded two things. The things that are blue are to do with my actual business. So these are tasks that I need to do to keep my business moving forward. The um, orange boards are client jobs. Now, not all my client jobs require me, require this level of organization on my behalf, but the bigger jobs, the websites, things like that, um, I find I need to write stuff down or I'll forget what it is I'm doing. I can also use Trello as a way of communicating with my clients. So. Um, up here, up the top, these personal boards are ones that are just for me, that I just look at myself. This one here, um, you can create team boards and you can share your boards with other people. So at this point on this project, um, I've shared this board with my client. Um, I'm building her, her website and we can use this board as a place to talk about um, what's going on, where we're up to, what needs to be done, all that kind of stuff. So I click in here at the moment, there's not anything in there because it's a new client and a new job, but that is the idea that we can both access it. Um, my other shared board here is with Ira, who's my VA. So uh, if we just quickly go in here, um, I've just, we've got some ongoing weekly tasks that she does for me, and then in here is where I um, upload the tasks that I'd like her to do as one-offs. And then when she's finished them, she moves them across to this finished task board. And then once I've checked it, I just archive it. Um, so to move stuff around, it's really easy. You literally just drag and drop. Um, when something is finished, so if this was finished, I'd just click on that little icon and say archive and it will disappear. And when I go in here, we can see um, this is where we write the comments that we can both access. Okay, so just back here. So that's kind of a, a quick overview of how it works. Now, how I use it to get stuff done, because quite often I might just have a half hour window here. I might have three hours. Um, some days they go. To, my kids go to daycare, so I have like a five hour chunk, which is amazing, and it goes way too quickly. So I need to maximize all my time as much as possible. Um, so these boards are my kind of ideas dumps. Ideas dump boards um, and my main one here your web toolkit that is my website so I've created these separate lists so when some when I'm busy doing something else and an idea pops into my head um, I just quickly write down uh, a um, task and um, add it to this board and onto one of these lists if it's relevant or whichever seems closest. And then every now and then I go back in here and I just kind of have a look and see 
if any of these ideas are any good, some of them I can just look them and go, I don't even know what I was thinking. It obviously wasn't important. It was just my brain being crazy at that moment and I can delete it. Other stuff is like, yep, need to get this done. Cool, leave it in there. I'm going to add it to my to-do list at some point. Um, also, when you click here on the boards, this is another way that you can um, you know, access all your stuff. So the um, the one for my website is my main one, is my ideas dump, and then I've got this one here called daily to do list, and this is the one that I use to get stuff done. So today's Tuesday. This is my to do list for today. It's a mix of client work. It's a mix of business work. Um, and what I do is at the beginning of each day, I um, you know, write down these tasks that are the ideal tasks that I would like to complete for that day. I don't always get through it all, so I'll do what I can, and then if I need to um, move something to the next day, I just drag it across. Um, it's quite easy. Um, once it's done, again, it's the same uh, archive button. Now, and this, this is what I keep open every day, and the beauty of how this might work is that if I'm in the middle of um, doing something, doing some client work or some marketing um, for my business, and an idea comes to me, I can just really quickly click here and say, oh, I have a great new idea, hit enter, and then when you click on it, sorry, if you click on this icon, I can just move it. So here I move, I pick my um, uh, Your Web Toolkit board and I add it to one of these lists that seems most relevant and then I move it. And then it's off here, it's off my to-do list, um, so I'm just going to delete that. So it's here, it's off my to-do list, it's not something I'm going to deal with right now, it's not something I need to think about right now, but what I have done is um, take note of it put it on the relevant board so that then when I've got time, say tomorrow morning or whenever I'm next doing my um, working out what I'm going to be doing for the day, um, you know, that idea has been captured, it's not lost. And it get, kind of frees up my brain right now to continue with doing what it was I was in the middle of doing. So I think we can all relate to that, right? That you'll just, you just interrupt yourself all the time and it's just awful. It's the death of productivity. Um, so that's kind of it. Um, when I now for me, as I mentioned, I kind of have to fit all my work around my my toddlers. So you know they might go down for a nap, or my husband might take them out for a while. So you know I just have these um, small little pockets of time where I try to be as productive as possible. So if it's just half an hour or an hour, I know there's no point tackling something too big because I'm just not really going to get very far with it. So what I do try to do um, when I go back into um, sort of my main idea dumps, ideas dump board um, is, as I mentioned, periodically go through here, get rid of anything that's irrelevant or doesn't make sense, and then have a look and try to break down, the if I've got big tasks, break them down into smaller tasks. Now, a lot of this makes sense to me just when I look at it. Um, I feel like I don't need to kind of break it down visually anymore, but you know, for you, you could color code this kind of stuff um, and work out what might be a 15 minute task, what's a half hour task, what's an hour long. And I would recommend if you do have, you know, something that big that you want to complete, like, um, you know, write a whole new sales page, break it down into, into smaller chunks so that if you do have 15 minutes here or 30 minutes there, um, you could just do one piece of that bigger picture and then um, by chipping it away, away to it like that, it'll get finished, it will get finished. Um, and so if you've got your ideas board here and you're like, right, I've got half an hour, what can I get done in half an hour? I could do something like, um, here, I've got find some websites to pitch guest blogs. So in, I could sit, half an hour is a good amount of time to sit down and um, you know do, do that kind of research. So what I would do is just move this to my um, daily to-do list board. So say I'm working out what I'm doing for tomorrow or, um, or you know, I'm just doing it spur of the moment as well. Um, but I want to put it on that list, so today is Tuesday, so that I know that I've done it. So it's on here, 
I've added it in. It's like, right, I've got half an hour. I'm going to do that right now. If you get it done, archive it. If I don't get it done, I can either move it till tomorrow. I can move it back into the ideas board. Um, but, the, you know, the point is uh, to kind of just, just keep these lists. Make what you're doing visible. Um, tick, and so, you know, you feel like you're ticking stuff off. And um, maximize your time by, you know, making your big tasks into smaller and smaller tasks so that they become actionable things that you can feasibly get done and you don't get overwhelmed. Okay, so that was it. That's kind of a, an overview of my thinking more than, I guess, exactly how Trello works. I don't use it for anything too complicated. I know it's a powerful tool and there are all other, other sorts of things that you can do in here. There's a calendar function. Um, you can work with teams. You can, you know, people use it for quite complex, um, you know, uh, aspects of their, of their businesses. Uh, I just wanted to show you how you can use it just to help with some time management and um, to keep you moving forward in your business because I know that we're all juggling so much stuff that it can be hard to get stuff done. Okay, thanks for listening.